I feel like everything's happening for you right now. So like the yep. new single, an album coming. I mean, mm-hmm. wow. And congratulations about About Damn Time too. It's such a Thank good song. You. I love it. Thank you. Um, Do you have like a, a favorite part of that song, like a, a special place in it that you extra love? My favorite part about that song is the second verse. I'm like, In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. It's crazy because I say Balenciussis. <laughs> <laughs> and I just think that line is gonna annoy everybody in the world. And I'm so I'm sorry in advance for introducing the word Balenciussi to the world. Uh <laughs> it's perfect. I, um thank you. I um i just remember that that flow and that that moment just came from me sitting in the booth, just making making shit up off the top of my head. I was like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and it's one of the swaggiest things I've been. I'm like, man, bitch, I'm I'm sliding on this shit. It's I'm I like my music, but it's very rare these days where I'm just like uh, impressed and I'm like, like feeling it. Bitch, <laughs> you did that, yeah. <laughs> But when when did you write it? When was that session where you were just like feeling it? I wrote this. This was the last song for the album. This was the last song I wrote for the album. It was a hail mary, and um, I wrote this a couple months ago. Um, this is the. 700th version of this song <laughs> oh so it's one of the songs that took a little time to make i re- rewrote i wish i could show you my notes in my phone i rewrote this song so many times because it was important to me to create a song that was so uh it had to be perfect in order to be celebratory but also have that energy of the way everyone feels right now like it's also it's almost like we're like I'm 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 nervous but can I celebrate today is today you know what I'm saying can I celebrate right now is right now a good moment because you never know at any moment something could happen and it's like that's why you have to just take that take the time to be present and say hey right now I'm gonna celebrate i feel like I'm gonna be okay. I feel like I'm gonna be all right. And it's about damn time I felt that way. I love that. I really do. But is it then like uh, the corona that you're rising from? Because it feels like a song where you're like, okay, now I'm rising up. I know you you say we've been through a lot, but I'm still flirty. I mean, you have like this energy uh, about the song first of all i haven't heard somebody call it corona in a long time um the og pandemic um it's not just about it's not a post pandemic song really it's just like the 2020s you know um i feel like we collectively have experienced a lot together whether it has been um trauma or triumph we as a global community can all say we've been through a lot and i think that that's a rare time in human history where we have the capabilities to communicate on a global level because of social media etc cetera, etc cetera, and to be going through something as um you know traumatic as a pandemic amongst other things you know, what's going on with the world, (laughs) our climate, our social climate, (laughs) you know? Um, So I think this song is pretty universal and (laughs) you could sing this anytime in your life and it will still make sense. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Lizzo, I saw that you were on James Corden and you mentioned like very briefly that your mom was a Virgo. Do you like care a lot about zodiac signs? (laughs) So I've been, yeah, I've been privy, you know, astrology is super trendy now, but, you know, I grew up knowing, oh, my mom's a Virgo, my dad's a Libra, I'm a Taurus, my brothers were the fixed signs of the Zodiac. Yeah, like, I kind of grew up with it. I didn't get into charts until, like, a little bit later in life, but I definitely was reading my horoscope and knowing my sign at a very young age and how we all relate to each other. So it's something that... 
it's pretty ingrained in me. I think I had a pretty like witchy aunt on my dad's side. I think that's, <laughs> I think she like would make us go to crystal shops and stuff. So like I have always, yeah, I've always been a little hippy dippy. Um, it's cool that it's trendy now. Cause I totally got made fun of it when I was younger, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm super into charts and I, I get charted. You know, they say um, millionaires don't have astrologers, but billionaires do. Oh, okay. So. I didn't know they said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, honey. What are your most Taurus signs then, like as a person? What are your most Taurus features? First I mean, of you're all, drinking. Look at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm exactly. You're look treating at yourself I'm right drinking. now. <laughs> I'm drinking a matcha green tea latte with oat milk, honey. Um, treating myself. I, Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is beauty and love and f like femininity. I'm a super like, you know, Venus type of bitch, goddess type of bitch. Um, I love laying around and doing nothing. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> which is a very earth sign thing. Yeah, you got the cheekbones of an earth sign. I don't oh, know what you are. Oh, thank you. I'm a Leo. But you, oh, you're a fire sign. What's your rising, though? Oh, it's a, it's a Leo, too, actually. I'm a double Leo. You're a Leo rising? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm a Leo rising. Oh, really? Oh, of course you're a Leo yeah. rising. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know us Leo risings. We're always celebrities. What's your moon? Uh, That's a Taurus. There it is. <laughs> uh, it's the cheekbones for me. Oh, thank you. Listen, Tauruses, we got the cheekbones. So yeah, I got, I, and I like to cook. I know y'all seen my TikToks where I be cooking and shit. Lizzo, mm -hmm. uh, are you gonna come to Denmark and visit us? Because we miss you. I remember the critics, critics writing from your last uh, concert. It's Lizzo world, Lizzo's world, and we're all just living in it. So oh I feel like you should God. come back to us. Listen, I cannot freaking wait until i am back on tour and on the road and seeing you guys and safely just having fun like i feel like people need to hear this music in person so badly as much as i need to perform it in person with y'all so i'll be there very freaking soon denmark don't you freaking worry <laughs> thank you and hopefully with the new album we can't wait mm -hmm. oh yeah it'll be there it's coming it's done it was so nice meeting you <laughs> Nice to meet you. Have a lovely mm -hmm. day. Denmark's Hits the Show. The Voice.